Welcome to the third edition of the Reddit Championship Series. We have an astounding 154 players who have entered this time around. And after looking at some of the submitted lists, I'm super duper freaking excited for things to get underway. And you'll definitely find out why very, very soon. In this video, I'll break down the deck representation, pricing, and players to watch out for in just a second. But first, for those of you who aren't familiar with the RCS, this is a free tournament that spans over the course of a few weeks, with players being given 72 hours to play each of their rounds on Dueling Book. Since we have 154 players, we will be having 8 rounds of Swiss, followed by a cut to top 16, where players will then face off against one another in single elimination. We will be playing under the March 2021 Forbidden and Limited list, where the last legally released sets were the Freezing Chain Structure Deck and Blazing Vortex. Unfortunately, that does mean Ghosts from the Past will not be legal for this event. Also, Firewall Dragon will also not yet be legal for this event either because it is only slated to become TCG legal for play later this month. Here's what these players are playing for. First place has a chance to get art commissioned by a very talented artist and a loved Redditor by the name of Raiden. They will have a chance to choose a design either for a single character profile picture or perhaps they can use that single character design for a sleeve of some sort that they can then go on to get printed with dragon shield or something. They will also receive an ultimate guard sidewinder which will hold 80 cards, a pair of sunglasses, a dice case, dice, and a special role in the Yu-Gi-Oh discord and a special flair on the Yu-Gi-Oh subreddit. Second place will receive an Ultimate Guard Boulder which also holds 80 cards, one pack of sleeves, one Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack, a choice of sunglasses or dice, and they'll also get a singular tissue to wipe their tears with. Tissue may be excluded upon request. Third to eighth place will receive their choice of sunglasses or dice, and just to note, some of these prizes are only available to US residents, and a huge thank you to I'm So Angry and Jeebus Mix Asian for contributing to the prize pool. Alright, now time for the exciting part which is the deck breakdown. The most represented deck of the tournament is Dragon Link, taking up 13% of the representation and looking like a clear tournament favorite. There are 20 players piloting this deck, meaning that's enough to fill up the entire top 16, which I uh, I certainly hope isn't the case here. Next we've got Eldritch, and this one's kind of insane because we have 7 different variants of the deck. We've got Pure, we've got Rocket, we've got Dogmatica Invoked, we've got just Dogmatica, Zombie Red Eyes, Zombie World, and a Trap Tricks build as well. And for the next one, I feel like Pack has really popular Shadals, so it's not a surprise to see him being the next most represented deck of the format, alongside Tri Brigade, which also has become a community favorite. Next, we've got Zodiac at 4.5%, Burning Abyss and Dinos at 3.9%, and the next one is the one that has me a little bit excited. We've got five players piloting Ancient Warrior. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, I am hard rooting for one of these players to see a little bit of success with the deck. And I really, really freaking hope we can future it somewhere down the line. So alongside them, we've got five players piloting Mech Knight and five players piloting Invoked variants. Categorizing the Invoked was a little bit weird because there is Invoked Shadal, there's uh, Invoked Eldritch decks, but primarily for this category, the decks under here are the ones who are much more focused on the normal Summon Alistair variants. And last format, the two best decks were Virtual World and Drychon. This tournament has zero players attempting to pilot the deck post ban list for Drychon. However, Virtual World actually has four pilots. And uh, if I remember correctly, there were some interesting builds running around, specifically in MBT's tournament, where there was a player who was running a small zombie world package and they saw some success with the deck. I believe they also topped, I'm pretty sure they did top. Now, whether any of these pilots are able to replicate that success, uh, we'll have to wait and see. My deck to watch out for for this tournament is Burning Abyss. Gabriel Zombie, I don't know if I'm saying his last name correctly, but former Worlds competitor, actually recently won out and got first freaking place in a remote duel qualifier with this deck. So, you know, there's some real potential for the deck to put in some work this tournament. 
And for the next section, this small section is something I like to call the player spotlight. Basically, these are some credible names to look out for in the tournament because they post a legitimate threat to crack into the top 16. First off, we have Giant Skyhawk. This player is one of the most well-known dino pilots in the community, a very consistent and good player. Whether they committed to dinos or decided to pilot something new for this event is yet to be determined, but we'll most definitely be keeping an eye out for them. Next we've got Femboy Yu-Gi-Oh and I believe MBT will definitely agree with this pick here. They have recently won the Chalice Line Monthly, piloting none other than Madolches. Yep, you heard that right, freaking Madolches. Hell of an accomplishment and it'll be interesting to see if they can get back to back tournament wins. And as well as to see what they've actually decided to run for this tournament, did they decide to stick with Madolche or you know perhaps they went a different route. Finally, for the third and final player in the player spotlight, I'm going to be picking Galatron. This player has previously been a big part of helping organize and head judge the Reddit Championship Series events. This is someone I have a lot of respect for in the community and a player I view as very knowledgeable. I'm really keeping a keen eye on them to see how they perform and hopefully we'll see Galatron in a future match down the line. Speaking of future matches, if you guys are interested, future matches will be spanned across MBTs, Sir Eminons, and my own channel for every round of the tournament. I'll link their channels down below and if you're interested in keeping up with the rest of the tournament, it'd be dope if you guys subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you to everyone who entered. Best of luck, duelist. This is Bear, signing off. Peace, guys.